salvation! No donation, no salvation! And remember, respect is everything. We are back. We are going to do another haul video because, uh, you know, I finally got some stuff recently. Um, and uh, I want to talk about it. So, uh, we're going to look at the Transformer stuff first, but I do have some other stuff that I do want to show off as well. Uh, let's see, where do we start? Um, hmm. I guess we'll start with the little ones. Alright, uh, let's see here. Where do we begin? Uh, let's, we got a few legends here. So this is nice. So, uh, let's see. Where do we start? Alright, we're going to start with Shockwave. So, let's see here. Where do we, how do we open this, this thing? Well, since I don't really care for packaging, uh, let's just do this. Because I don't care about the packaging. I am not an inbox collector, and I think inbox collectors are absurd human beings because you're literally just wasting more space with uh, I don't know. I don't I don't understand it. I don't understand the logic of collecting cardboard. Unless you're gonna resell it, I don't care for it. It's all just waste to me. Uh let's see. Oh, he's got these twisty tie things. Uh, actually they're not even twisty ties. Do we have the tools at hand to deal with this? No, I do not! Crap, where am I? Uh, I had some nail clippers here somewhere. Okay, I've acquired the tools at hand to deal with this. I'm sorry if I've been uploading at really weird times. Uh, for those who don't know, my sleep schedule's been an absolute disaster. And I never know when I'm going to wake up half the time. So, uh, you know... These videos get uploaded at weird times. I mean, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about that. But either way, I highly doubt anybody watches these when they write when they come out. So I guess it really doesn't matter now, does it? This is a really nice figure. He feels really solid. Legs are a little flimsy, but I can live with that. Not too bad. Now, which arm was the gun arm? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I have to look at my other shockwaves. Okay, I think I figured it out. Uh, how do we attach this gun? Does it does this tab fold forward? I'm not a reviewer by any means, so what you see on screen is what you get. Oh crap! I don't want to break it. Uh, okay, no, I, I was right. I was right. It does fold in. All right, I'm pretty sure it's this arm. All right, not bad. Uh, I probably won't use that stupid tank mode. Uh, because I just don't agree with it. Although, that's because I'm a G1 here. Uh, no, this is actually really nice. I like this. He feels really solid. Plastic feels alright. Not too bad. A lot better than what we've been seeing recently with a lot of the deluxes. I wonder if there's a, an alternate... I wonder if somebody made, like, a fan gun mode yet. Ah, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out at some point. Oh uh, look! It's the freaking mini bot that should have came with my my sound wave. Oh well, uh, at least I have them now. Yep, I don't care for packaging, so you know, not like this packaging's that great anyway. I don't know if it's just me or if I'm just really lucky, but every time I go on to social media, not even joking, people are always trying to stick their hands in here and steal stuff from these things. He doesn't look like he's missing anything, which is good, but I'll be honest, uh, you know, um, all I can say to the people popping the heads off of blue streaks is uh, I hope uh, one day, you know, they get their heads shoved up their own ass for good measure because uh, the fact that people are doing stuff like that is stupid. I, I think it's a fitting punishment in my eyes since they seem to love head. Okay, so I, I'm... Is this for Soundwave? What is this for? So these are probably his side guns. And I have no clue what this st stupid thing is. Uh, is it part of Ravage? I, I guess so. Uh, I don't even know which way that goes on. I probably should have looked at the box art. Alright, he's got some feedums. So there he is in his little thing and then I don't know what oh I can plug onto his belly I guess I can guarantee you this is for Soundwave so speaking of Soundwave here he is 
Does this plug in to that? It does. You probably can't even see that. Uh, speaking of Ravage, let's see. How do we do this? Uh, whatever. I mean, all, all, I mean, he, he goes in there. You fold him up. If you've seen G1 Soundwave, you know how that works. Whatever. I'm gonna leave Soundwave there anyway, just because why not? All right. What do we got? Got Skywarp. And yet no Thundercracker because he's the most elusive seeker of all time. But we don't really get that many Skywarps anymore either, so I guess I can't really say anything. Uh, what is all this? Just instructions? Crap, I don't care for. <sighs> no Null Race, of course. Speaking of, uh, you know, quality control and stuff, uh, I was on Facebook earlier because, yes, I still use Boomer Book for some stupid reason. Mostly for family and other stuff, but... Um, I remember somebody got one in the mail through Amazon, and half their chest was unpainted. And I was honestly like, hey, dude, you want to just send me yours and I'll give you mine? Just so I could show it off on camera, and I'd probably paint it and fix it later, since it wouldn't be that hard to fix it. I mean, literally, you just get a silver Sharpie and whatnot, but... I don't know. I, I thought it was hilarious, so I thought I'd, I'd, I'd bring that up because that's how bad Hasbro's quality control has gotten. This is actually really nice. This this doesn't look too bad. I'm not I'm not even gonna bother with that. That's just that weapon is stupid. They should have given him null rays. Get out of here with this. All right, we're gonna look at some Hot Wheels real quick since these are very quick things to look at. Uh, I got two of these because there was a color variation, I guess. So. Screw it, why not? I don't even know what this vehicle is. It's probably not even a real car. Although it doesn't look too... Un I mean, I'm sure there's probably a buggy out there that looks like this. Neat. I like that. Nice little off-road buggy. What's it called? Twinning and winning. Yep. That's a, that's a, nice, that's a nice name. It's like uh, tweaking and shrieking, only you don't have to run out in public naked. Because in reality, you're not really winning at that point. Because you're probably messed up on drugs anyway. <laughs> That's irrelevant. <laughs> now this, this is pretty cool. Um, my brother really likes this car. Because he played with it a lot in uh, Forza Horizon 4, I think. I don't know. But I, I like this car. I love the Nash. The Nash. What a perfect name. That is a cool car. And it's an actual car, too. Uh, but this is the Hot Wheels one. And it's got fuzzy dice there we go. That's actually a really nice paint job for this car. That's pretty cool. A nice little gasser. Or at least it looks like a gasser. Alright, let's go to the last item since uh, this video is already going on way too long. Cliff Jumper. Yeah, my boy Cliff Jumper. In G1 form and not in his magnificent Transformers Prime incarnation, which. Uh, uh, is probably my favorite version of Cliff Jumper of all time because. Uh, you know, muscle car and all that. That and he's voiced by Dwayne Johnson, who was, uh, a.k.a. The Rock, one of, uh, I mean, as a wrestler, he was alright. Uh, I prefer him more as an actor, but he wasn't a bad wrestler either, uh, for those who actually know what he was doing before he was acting. If you know who Dwayne Johnson is, it, it's, I don't need to explain these things. Oh, the, the instructions are a little more colorful now. That's nice. I killed Skywarp back there. There you go. Stop holding, mate. So, this one I'm a little torn on because I actually ha already have two Earthrise Cliff Jumpers. Um, and I, because I have one as a backup figure that I keep in a bin with other figures. Uh, because if I like a figure enough, I like to have a backup to mess with and then have another one for display purposes. Which is, it's ironic I say that because I don't really display any of my figures. They're all just kind of sitting in bins right now. Because I don't have the real estate to kind of accommodate them on shelves. So that's why I don't really display much of my collection. Which, it's sad, but you know what? It's, it's just my life, you know? It's just what I have to deal with. Okay, there's one. There's two. Ah, come on, boy. Here, let's make life easier. Oh, wow, this actually has decent... Tolerance now it actually stays in. What a miracle. Oh, that's a nice little background, I guess Doesn't help that there's holes in it because now I can't actually use it. So Good job Hasbro. Yep messed up again. 
I can't say what I was originally going to say because I'd probably get flagged for it or something. <laughs> if you game with me, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Speaking of gaming, uh, well, here, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. So here's the thing. I'm a little torn right now. I don't know if I really want to use this as my cliff jumper for my to all our one shelf because oh that's not good he's already oh it's just a little bit of dirt okay never mind my bad i thought the paint was chipped so here's the thing the colors are nice the g1 accuracy is is great and all but the thing is so i have the netflix bumblebee figure and because that one has clear windows as well and the colors are kind of muted i kind of prefer keeping cliff jumper in the same theme since they're kind of i wouldn't really say twins or a pair i guess, i don't know but i kind of like sticking with that theme uh of the muted colors because i don't know it just looks nicer to me i guess i don't know why uh this is nice and all it's just i don't know if i'm going to use him as my primary cliff jumper for my shelf um mostly because the painted windows do kind of throw me off i mean they look nice and the paint is nice and shiny but I don't know, um, I'm a little torn on that one. Uh, let's see, he still has his Tomb Raider pistols, so that's always nice. I, I don't understand why people complain about this weapon so much, it's really not the worst thing in the world. Like, trust me, Hasbro's done worse things compared to, you know, these weapons. Huh, I don't really have anywhere to plug the- oh wait, wait, hold on, I think it, there's a little there we go! We'll just pretend it's like one of those Chinese, uh, hand grenades. If you ever seen those? Have you ever watched enough war movies like I do? Like honestly, okay, yeah, they're not G1 accurate, but these these are passable as blasters. I mean, I don't know. I think toy collectors in general are just too anal about these things. <laughs> I said anal. Uh, anyway, um, speaking of gaming, uh, for those who don't know, I finally upgraded because uh, I finally got me an Xbox Series S. Because for those who don't know, for the longest time. I was playing on this old, decrepit, original Xbox One that just looks like a One S because it's white. I don't know where it came from or what version it is or what special edition it is. All I know is it came in white and I hate that thing to death because it is the most broken console I've ever had to deal with. Not to mention it's the original Xbox One so it has that stupid touch sensor instead of a proper button like my actual Xbox One S. I mean, it sucks I don't have a disk drive, so I can't borrow games anymore from my brother, but I'll be honest, it's probably a good thing, because I, I lose and break stuff all the time. But, yeah, um, I'm going to keep this as a backup controller, because I already have a decent controller anyway. But, oh man, that is nice. Nice, fresh, brand new controller. I love it. And I also got rechargeable batteries, too, so I never have to invest in batteries again. And, you know what, it only takes two anyway, so... You know what, I... I'm, I'm good. I'll never have to buy batteries again as long as this controller doesn't die. So, nice. Just thought I'd show that off because... Gamer. But, yeah, that's all I got for this video. This is already going on way too long. Uh, how should we finish things off? Well, there's only one thing left to do. Matador. Before we go... I have to know one thing. Will Ravage fit in his storage compartment? Uh, ooh. That doesn't feel good. I feel like I'm scratching paint or something. Uh, will you fit? That's a good question. It's like, will it blend, but worse? Wow, he really doesn't go in there that well. That, or I'm just an idiot. Uh, he's supposed to fit... Oh, there we go. Okay, I just have to force him in. Alright! And now we have a compacted Ravage in Soundwave. Oh. What the hell? And now the cassette door won't close. Uh, yeah, that that does not work at all. Oh, wait, hold on, maybe if I push the gun in a little more. You know what? I'll take what I can get. 
Y'all have a good one. Hallelujah! Another soul saved!